All right, here's the deal. Doing the skis this spring. Put them in the garage. Got some real rusty edges. You can see that. Um, gonna show you how to knock off some rust. been ground, base ground, maybe two, three times. I'm thinking two, two times at the most. They're six, seven years old. But uh, probably next spring. They're not my race boards. They're just my all mountain skis, but totally rusty. Um, little trick I do. So I'll take. Uh, all these drywall screens, sanding screens. That's uh, a 120. I don't know. You get a stone ground down here that gives you structure, puts little channels in your base that uh, water, snow go through. Take a little uh, rubber pad, push pad from a table saw, and then I just take these screens. I'm sure there's many people that are cringing watching somebody do this. This is not what you want to do when it's your flat out ray ski. As you can see, starting to see a little shine on the edges. I did a, I'm sure at the beginning of the season, this is end of the season, I'm gonna put these away in the garage. Excuse me, basement. Alright, that's probably all I'd do. Maybe flip it over. Still a little rust up here. So, bunch of rust, wax, base, base grows throughout the years. This is just a uh, copper nylon brush. The only brush I got. But now, that thing put some channels in there. Similar to a Vinter Stone Grinder. I'm sure you could have uh, taken them up, ran them down the stone grinder. But, top side, edges. No longer as rusty. These are little diamond blades. Got a mill file. You'd use your mill file. Fine. This is a second cut. Uh, to set your edges. My edges have been set. This is a one degree. And then uh, secret sauce. Secret sauce. Watch some little kid on YouTube. Uh, one part water, one part alcohol. Alright, so this little guy is a one degree 
bevel. That's what I got these edges set on. These two nubs run on the side of this. I tend to do my top edge first and then my side edge just because these steel posts run along the side edge. Um, the mill file, you got to go one direction. I'd say these diamond blades, you can go both directions. But usually my final pass, I'll go like this all the way down. Um, but if you can see where I'm looking, um, it is pretty much just knocked every bit of rust that was on there right off. You can see. Then I'll uh, move it in once, usually start towards the end. Move it in where there's no gook, rust, base, wax. Do it again. This is pretty much winterizing these skis, putting them away. Again, you can see the the debris shifted up, get a little clean pass. I think the secret sauce saves your uh, your diamond blades. These things aren't cheap. I'm just going with the 200 cut. I got 200 here. Start out. Um, Uh, here's the 400, 600, 800s I bet they got all, all the way up until you want to call them sharp enough. Alright, so that's the one side. Usually clean that stuff off, otherwise it gets buried into your base. And I... Uh, didn't need to take that off, but I'm going to get this other side. Shop wall side. And uh, like I say, there's little arrows. Just kind of butt these two things up along the sides. And uh, run them down. Because my edges have already been set, this pretty much hits them. Hits right on the already beveled with the mill file. Took these down to the 600 uh, grit diamond file. I'm sure this spring. I only skied on them once. Then when I put them away, come off the top of the car, right into the garage, and there they sat. Still melting off of the off of the Jeep. Okay. So you pretty much get that. And you'll be able to see a nice little clean clean spot here. Just uh, lack of care when I put them away. There ain't nothing else to it. All right. So that is the base edge with a one degree uh, Swix file. So then you get your side edges. see rust um, side edges I, I go with the three degree 
or it says 87. Uh, same thing, set your edges, use this little mill file. I just did the wife's old skis, they were, they were pretty bad. I did uh, mill file them. Secret sauce on this, uh, this edge runs along the base of the ski. You can clamp it on. Um, I don't usually use the clamp, but you can clamp it on so it holds it at that degree. And then this edge runs alongside the base. And you go like that. And you would progressively go down to the higher number diamond blades. And then I think there's a soapstone. There's like a hard ceramic thing. So I think if you use the ceramic, it will not leave the edges raw, ready to rust. Okay, so that doesn't take much. That 200 cuts pretty quick. We'll flip it over, we'll get the other side edge. that uh, metal shavings out of there but you can see I can see trust me they're put away wet I'd like to say they are road hard but it's Michigan with that you can see the crud just come right off moral of the story you get done skiing at night bring your skis in let them dry off wipe them down and you won't have this problem And you can feel the grit, and you'll know once the 200, you can almost hear the difference right there. It's, it's cutting. You can see. Then you would, once you feel it smooth the whole way down, you would uh, switch to the next grit, 200 to 400, and then you'll feel it go smooth all the way down. Okay, next, uh, for winterizing them, this is pretty easy. Drip uh, some wax in there. Uh, you can see edges are back, no rust. That's fingernail shavings.
Thank you. Clean that up. Careful with the no gloves. Sliced my hand really good. Once you start doing the uh, all the different grits, and you get down and you polish your edge. So not only do you sharpen them with the file and diamond blades, you polish them with that uh, soapstone slash ceramic. You'll see them if you were to look for ski tuning equipment. Other than that, I'm going to melt this down. And uh, I leave it on. Uh, come springtime, these things will get taken to our local ski shop with a stone grinder, and they will get probably their final base grind for me. You can overtune your edges. And uh, there won't be much left. You'll cut right through the p -tex. You'll see how the edge is attached. You'll start to see uh, the shape of the edge. But I think it takes quite a few to over-tune your ski. you got to be using those mill files and setting them but once you set your edges you only need those diamond things if you ask me you're a high school racer you're gonna you're gonna take it to another level but everyday average joe knock the knock the rust off and send them all right hope uh Uh, I bought a bunch of these boxes with red, purple, and blue off of eBay. Said he was a high school coach, and this was their practice wax. Um, but the stuff I dripped on it was a big yellow chunk he had in there, too. So I'm going to call that my winterizing wax. I don't know what this is supposed to be set at. I got it at 135. Might need to go a little hotter. But. We'll do our final pass here. And I usually come down the hill. So right now I am going uphill, so I'll do one more camera pass towards the camera. And then we'll call them done. It's not going to scrape them. Get metal or plastic scrapers. I'm sure this plastic or this yellow chunk of wax would scrape off pretty easy compared to that CH or CH12. I don't know anything about wax. He just said he was a high school racing coach and that was his practice wax. I called it good enough for beer league. And uh, that's what I run. So we got a little smoke here. Again, not sure what the little iron should be set on for that. But. I call it done.
and that's how I uh, knock the rust off. And I've done uh, my two race skis and uh, my life skis. And this is the last of my all mountain board. Summer's over. Gonna get the boat out and some fishing poles and uh, the KTM. Ride some single track coming up. All right, that's how you knock the rust off. Winterize your skis. Thanks for uh, watching, and that's it. Later.